The next thing that we are going to learn is an input operator. That is how to read input from a user. Now, input operator is not an operator, rather it is a function. But because of its frequent use in programming, we call it an input operator also. Here, Python always use this input function to read some input from the user. So if you just run this program, as you can see, it is printing enter a number and then it is waiting for an user input. So if you just add like 20 and then if you hit enter, it is executing the rest of the code. But here, when you are taking an input from the user, then you should remember some facts. Python interpreter always read an input from a user as a string. It cannot read any other data type. So to read an integer or a floating point number or a boolean from a user, you have to explicitly change its type as I have done over here. If you do not change the type, you will end up in an error. For example, if I just remove this int and then var1. So right now the code, what the code is saying is var1 input enter a number. So whenever an input, uh, whenever a u the user will enter a number, it will be stored inside var1. Let's say like this. Let's say I'm giving 20 over here. So 20 will be stored in var1, but this 20 will be actually stored as a string like this, not as a number 20, but a string 20. And that is why it should, if you hit enter now, you will end up in an error. And the type of error is can only concatenate string, not int to string. So as you can understand, there is a discrepancy between integer and string. So after reading an input from the user, you have to explicitly change its type to integer or any other data type that you want. So if I change it to int now, now you will see that the result will be okay without any error. So 20 here plus 20 is 40. Now you really do not need to do only int, you can do float also. And if I just run it here again, let's say if I do 20 and it is a 40.0. And since you have converted it to float, it is giving a decimal number, although the right hand side is just zero. But it is showing that well the value of the value of var1 have been successfully converted to floating point number.